This is Wilman Ziada, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with an incredible music artist. Her name, Kayev. Hello, Kayev. How are you? I'm good. How are you? And how's everyone out there? Hopefully doing good. Everyone in New York is doing great. I know that you are in sunny Florida. And Kayev, I want to know first and foremost, where were you born? And when did you realize that you had this musical gift? So I was born in Fremont, California. Sorry guys, I'm by the pool. So I, I have to throw the peace sign so the kids know they gotta quiet down over there. Oh, I love it. <laughs> but I was born in California and I was raised in between the West Coast and Mexico. Um, it was total culture shock every year. We would go around from November to like February. Um, we would do the whole road trip thing. Like my parents, they had, they're like, yes, can. so they would pull us out of school, take us to Mexico. And then we'd be like, what the hell are we doing over here? Cause at first we didn't have a house there. We were just like all piled up at my grandmother's house. And it was like, you know, total developed developing country experience you had to boil your water it was just the food was great but everything else was like ah, I'd rather be in the state so I grew up with kind of like that appreciation for like the little things because you know when we would go back home you know AC is a, you know a luxury it, now you appreciate the small things so we, we did that I want to say for like 15 years back and forth back and forth and it was you know pretty soon on we had our own home over there and all the luxuries that in the USA and just going and visiting my grandfather who lived in that small town he was always playing some type of instrument and just my time with him as a child is what sparked music in me and I knew I had it in me like as a generational lineage because my grandfather was known through music he was like from his childhood in many different bands like traveling bands in Mexico and back then it was like for the church for the catholic church so he was like a like a roman catholic trumpist or different things so back back then that was a big deal you know it's it's like it's like almost being famous that's amazing when, that's amazing that you were able and have been able to carry on your family legacy by pursuing music yourself. And I know that you're going through a lot of exciting changes in your music world. And I wanna remind the audience that although we didn't play a video today, please keep an eye out for Kayeb and you can see all of her latest music in a music video coming out very soon. Kayeb, I'm, I'm, you know, I've been perusing your social media and you exude such positivity, love, light, and obviously that's a testament to someone like yourself who has done the work on themselves. I wanna know why you put out that love and light now more than ever. Well, I think it's more important beyond the music because the music is just the, the vessel for, for the real message. And the music is something that everyone can relate to. And we all can't relate in being positive. There's times where you know, I've been very dark and cringy in my own little world of chaos. And I want to remind people that there is light past that. You know, there's, you know, situations that happen to prepare you for the better you tomorrow. And, you know, diamonds are built under pressure. So if you don't go through things in life, then, you know, you're not going to have the greatest life ever because oh. life is all about perseverance and strength and keep moving. And even in my life, I have you know, aside from the, the music changes, I have a lot of um, changes. And before I used to see change as something just so hard, like how am I gonna do it now? It's like, at this point, I've been through so many different things. Like I'm not afraid of anything. It's to the point where I wouldn't even be afraid of, not even death itself, because everything is this transformation. Like it's oh. this beautiful experience. Well, listen, I think those are beautiful words, especially now more than ever, when people have been forced to go through trauma and grief and illness, but to be able to have that mindset that you have, to make the choice, to enjoy the possibility, the sense of the possibility, 
and the change. And Kaya, I could speak with you forever. I want to let the audience know for more on the amazing Kaya. You can read more about her right below this video. Kaya, it is so nice to meet you. I'm so excited that you're joining this incredible new social media platform, Phoenix 360. And I'm so excited that we're connected now. And next time I'm in Florida, I'll let you know. Please do. And I'm more than thrilled to be a part of that. It's a pleasure. And it's definitely moving forward in the way that the world is now synchronizing with everything, you know, with the NFTs, this, the, the visual and the audio, all the platforms, everything is there. And that's one of the things that really intrigued me about Phoenix 360 is bringing everything. It's not getting rid of anything. It's just unifying all the forces that we have to get our messages out there and to stay connected. Amen. I could not have said it better myself. 